what are you two up to? Mum gave us some petals and herbs and things. We're going to set up a perfume shop in the garden. Oh, peppermint. Not sure I'll want to smell like a tube of toothpaste, but whatever. <laughs> Your shop might have to wait. Whisper World's calling. Someone needs us, Peggy. Gertie's got a big problem. We've got to go. Eyes closed tight. Whispers coming to make things right. I can't get rid of the bugs. Oh, ouch. Oh, they're all over me, Whisper. Making me itch. Doesn't Otis eat the bugs on you, Gertie? He does when he's here. But he's gone on his holiday, see? Ouch! And that's why I'm getting bitten to pieces. Oh, stop it! OK, with no oxpecker birds around, we must find another way to get rid of those pesky bugs. I've got an idea. To the water hole! We're going to wash those bugs right out of your hair, Gertie. You are going to have a bath. A bath? I've never had one of those. How does it work? Tingling do bathe. Okay, just bend down, Gertie, so you're nearer to the water. <laughs> Over to you, Peggy. Kingling Peggy, that's enough. Stop, please. All better? Hmm. I believe you've washed those little bugs right out of... Okay, Gertie, I've got another idea. Shh. Dad, can you hear me? Come close and help me. Whisper, I can hear you. You've sent for a panda? Well, okay, but how will he help? Ouch! Ah! First of all, Dan is really good at keeping everyone calm. This might be a bit of a challenge. And second of all, he has long claws. Really? But what use are they to me? Oh, ouch! Oh, I never thought I'd miss Otis so much. Just bend down, Gertie, like you did before. I'm going to comb those bugs right out of your hair. you don't like away from you. Me? I wee on a tree. Wee on a tree! <laughs> you will not catch me <laughs> weeing on a tree, that's for sure. Well, it's a smell, you see. The wee smell keeps unwanted animals away. The smell! Of course! Dan, you're brilliant. I am. I am absolutely not doing it. Do you hear? No, Gertie. We just need you to smell of something the bugs don't like. And then they'll be off. And look! Peppermint! Yes, peppermint perfume. Let's try it out. Down you go again, Gertie. OK. Third time lucky. Right. Now let's see. Well? I'm not itching. Oh, my! Stopped itching! It's worked! The bugs have scooted off! Yeah. <laughs> Goody! Yes! Oh, thank you both! And you, Dan. I did so enjoy the ooming and the combing. You're welcome, Gertie. I'll comb again any time. Oh, Hey, Whisper Peggy! A 
Panda. This is what I call a cool welcome home. Otis, I missed you so much. Oh, <laughs> missed you too. Poor. You've been rolling in something stinky. I don't roll, Otis. I never roll. What you got for me today, Gertie? I could eat a gazillion bugs. Hey, what's going on? No dinner? The bugs will be back once the peppermint perfume smells worn off. Gertie will explain, Otis, because we really have to go now. Eyes closed tight, whisper and friends, make things right. Hup, hup. Oh, time to set up your perfume shop. Yes, except we've run out of peppermint. Oh, don't tell me. Someone in Whisper World absolutely loved it. Uh, no. They absolutely hated it. Snacking tree? Yeah. But it's my old napping tree. I can't sleep if you dudes are snacking. Maybe you two could find a different coconut tree to snack from. Well, but these are really good nuts and, you know... Please. Oh, I guess. I guess we could give it a guess. Cool. I'll just take that nap then. Well, how are things up there? Are the cocoa what's yummy? Oh. Yuck! These are too sour. Oh. No, no, no! These are too soft. Sorry, Whisper, but we need to get our coconuts from our new favourite snacking tree. We're so hungry! That didn't work. Kev? I guess you're going to ask me to find another napping place, right? Uh, sorry! <laughs> Maybe you could just try. What about this? Could you nap here instead? Seems good to me. No, it's not shady enough. I'd never get to sleep here. No trees. Any good? No, can't sleep here. It's not near the river. The noise of the river is so soothing. Hmm. Okay, Kev. So, here's the thing, guys. This tree is the only place with enough shade and the soothing sound of the river close by to help me sleep. And 
And this tree is the only tree? With the delicious, firm and fresh coconut we love. Yeah. But it's my napping tree. No, it's but our uh, snacking tree. I mean, tree. Yeah, but hey, don't ask so much around here. Tree. But this is I do need. Okay, everyone, calm down. Stop. <clears throat> Sorry, but we need to calm things down if we're going to sort this out. And I know who can help us. He's old, wise, and he does things in a calm, slow way. Thanks, Whisper. This is so cool. Sorry, you two, for making a fuss, but when I'm tired, I get snappy, see? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have the best ideas. Your shell is such great armor, Jumbo. And when the coconuts bounced off you, I got the idea for the trampoline. Without you, they'd still be arguing. Do you like it, Kev? Kev? <laughs> Which, Peggy? We better get home to Dad. Eyes closed tight, whisper and friends, make things right. <laughs> whisper, Peggy, you're back. Your turn on the trampoline. <laughs> you bet, Dad. Oh, Peggy, you're bouncing. 